What is Pendle Finance? In today's video, we'll be doing an investigation into one of the newer protocols on Arbitrum that focuses on unlocking yield to its fullest potential. We'll learn about how Pendle breaks down yield-bearing assets and allows users to speculate on yield itself. We'll cover how users can buy assets like ETH at a discount. I'll get into the tokenomics of the protocol, and last, I'll touch on their governance. Without further ado, let's get into Pendle Finance. So what exactly is Pendle Finance? Pendle Finance is a yield management protocol that allows users to get the most out of their yield-bearing tokens through a few custom protocol mechanics. Pendle Finance works to emulate bond stripping in traditional finance, but in a decentralized manner. Bond stripping, for those who don't know, is the process of stripping a debt obligation into its principal and coupon components. In TradFi, this allows people to speculate on both the principal component and its interest rate component. If this sounds confusing, it should make more sense as we get deeper into the protocol mechanics. Pendle Finance works similarly by allowing users to break down yield-bearing assets like GDAI, STETH, and GLP into a yield token or YT and a principal token or PT. Pendle Finance has pioneered a new token standard to accomplish this, which serves as an interface for users interacting with the different components. This token standard is known as SY, or Standardized Yield, and is the backbone that allows the protocol to function. Users who want to break down their assets must first turn their yield-bearing tokens into these SY tokens. Through breaking the token into two, the protocol allows users to speculate on both their principal tokens and yield tokens through a custom AMM. Some yield strategies that are unlocked by this design include going long assets at a discount, getting fixed yield for low risk and stable growth, going long yield, and a variety of the aforementioned combined. It's important to note that the market which Pendle seeks to create in DeFi also exists in TradFi and is known as the interest rate derivative market. This market has a notional value of $400 billion and is still a very niche market in DeFi. Now we can get into some protocol mechanics and explain why users would want to trade on Pendle in the first place. We can also illustrate this through an example. Let's say Bob wants to have exposure to the yield of 10 ST ETH, but doesn't have enough money to buy the ETH outright and stake it. What Bob can do through Pendle Finance is buy the YT token or yield token of 10 ST ETH and hope to be profitable if the yield that comes from his position outweighs the cost of buying his position. Obviously, the other side of this trade would be a user who sells 10 YT tokens in exchange for the premium paid by the buyer of the tokens. Whoever is profitable in this trade is determined by the yield produced by the yield token. On the platform, this counterparty is simply the liquidity providers to the pools. We can also explain the principal token trade through this example. Imagine Bob has some ETH but wants to get more. What Bob can do is buy principal tokens on Pendle Finance for a discount and hope to profit off the discount when his principal tokens mature. Principal tokens can be redeemed one-to-one -to, -one to their yield-bearing counterparts after a maturity date has passed. Principal tokens can be sold at a discount because they are separated from their yield-bearing components. After holding principal tokens until a maturity date, Bob can redeem his principal ETH tokens for ETH tokens directly. This is what speculating on principal tokens looks like. So that's all well and good, but how do PT and YT tokens trade, and how does the custom AMM engine work on Pendle Finance? Pendle's AMM allows users to transact between PT, YT, and SY tokens all in the same pool. Pendle offers a variety of markets of yield-bearing assets to choose from. Through the AMM, users can transact between the three token types seamlessly with low slippage. Users can also choose to become liquidity providers to the pools on Pendle. Liquidity pools on Pendle are set up as PT slash SY pools, with YT tokens being traded through flash swaps. The exact mechanism for trading YT tokens is explained in their docs and involves both the selling and buying of YT tokens. The process for buying YT tokens starts by a buyer sending SY tokens into the swap contract, the contract withdrawing SY tokens from the pool, the swap contract minting PT and YT tokens from the SY tokens, the YTs being sent to the buyer, and the PTs being sold for SY to return the amount withdrawn from the pool. The process for selling YT begins with the seller sending YT into the swap contract, the contract borrowing a similar amount of PT from the pool, 
the PTs and YTs combining to create SY tokens, SY being sent to the seller, and a portion of the SY being sent to the pool for PT in order to return the borrowed PT. It's important to remember that this process only applies to transacting between YT tokens, while transacting between PT and SY works the same as any other liquidity pool. The Pendle AMM is interesting for a few different reasons. First off, by allowing users to trade between all three token types in one pool, liquidity providers collect more fees than they would normally, and pools are also more liquid. The AMM is also great at minimizing impermanent loss by taking into account the gradual change in price of PT and shifting the AMM curve appropriately. Impermanent loss on swaps is also highly mitigated as the assets you are swapping with are highly correlated in price. The AMM is also customizable to cater to tokens with different yield volatilities. Through the understanding that yield ranges are easier to predict than asset prices, the AMM is able to concentrate liquidity more in these yield ranges, allowing for much larger trade sizes at lower slippage. Now let's get into Pendle Finance's tokenomics. Pendle's tokenomics revolves around their Pendle token, which has the dual purpose of being used as a token incentive for users on the platform, as well as a tool to obtain governance. Pendle Finance employs the vote escrow model for governance, with their own VE Pendle token that allows users to vote on governance proposals on the protocol, as well as make changes to token emissions on liquidity pools. Vote escrow Pendle can also be used for boosting APY for liquidity provision on the platform, and is generally a useful tool for interacting with Pendle. VE Pendle is obtained through locking Pendle tokens and has a diminishing governance power based on the remaining time until the token unlock. The maximum time period users can lock their Pendle tokens for is 2 years, but they have the choice to extend the lock duration during the period their tokens are locked for. VE Pendle powers the incentive channeling mechanism on Pendle, which is the mechanism that decides how many rewards are to be distributed to each liquidity pool. A snapshot of all votes is taken every Thursday after which token rewards are adjusted. Another important thing to note about Pendle is that 3% of all yield generated by YT tokens is collected by the platform and 100% of this fee is given to VE Pendle holders. The platform also takes a cut of the yield from matured unredeemed PT tokens, which is also given to VE Pendle holders. All of these rewards are collected and paid out by a disbursement contract, and VE Pendle holders can expect their rewards to be paid out in USDC. Other than that, users can check out some statistics about the Pendle token supply as well as their inflation rate on their docs, which I will have linked below. I'll also leave a link to a relevant Dune dashboard for people curious about more statistics. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, as it greatly helps this channel and its content. If you have any protocol suggestions that you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get to them. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there, Anons.